Route 666 goes through Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, and Utah. Built sometime in the 1920s, this route was named because it was the sixth branch of the historic Route 66. It is also known as Satan's Highway and the Highway to Hell. The number 666 itself comes from the Book of Revelation and is thought to be the mark of the Antichrist. Because of the name and the many strange tales, some people believe the highway is cursed. People have witnessed a semi-truck speeding down the highway completely engulfed in flames. Animals that inexplicably jump in front of traffic, causing car wrecks. Cars that disappear and reappear further down the road. And phantoms that appear in people's cars and then disappear. People have also seen a little girl dressed in all white walking on the side of the road by herself. When drivers stop to help the little girl, she disappears. It is also said that the devil himself drives through the highway in a black sedan. In 1992, the Arizona portion of the highway was renamed 191 because of people stealing many of the 666 street signs and people just not liking the name of the highway. But the name change hasn't stopped all of the weird things that people still to this day witness. The jackalope is a cryptid that is described as being a jackrabbit with antelope horns, supposedly seen in Arizona and Wyoming. They are said to be able to mimic people's voices and that in the Old West, when cowboys would gather around a fire at night, they would hear their own voices repeated to them from the dark. Jackalopes are said to be very vocal before a thunderstorm because they only mate when lightning strikes. When being hunted by people, they say things to try to confuse their human hunters and when they are being hunted by other animals, they attack using their horns. Supposedly, the only way to lure a jackalope is with whiskey. Two things might have contributed to the belief in the jackalope. In 1932, Douglas Herrick and his brother grafted deer antlers onto the body of a jackrabbit using their taxidermy skills. Then the brothers sold the jackalope to a local hotel in Douglas, Wyoming. The brothers made more jackalopes and sold them to a store in South Dakota. The second reason might be rabbits with a virus called Shope papilloma. The virus causes rabbits to grow a horn or horns on various parts of their body. Do you believe that jackalopes are real? Or just like me, do you believe that the jackalope is just a tall tale? During the gold rush in the 1800s, a man and his family built a small wooden house in a canyon south of Kingman. The man believed that he could find gold in the mountains and would be away from his family for two weeks at a time. After two weeks, the man would return with some food for his family. This went on for some time until one day the man didn't return. His family stayed even when their food started to get scarce. The family became very pale, thin, and weak. The children started to beg their mother for food that she just didn't have. With each passing day, the mother became more and more unhinged. One night, she snapped. She calmly got dressed into her wedding dress and murdered her children. She then took the children to the local river and threw them in. She collapsed down at the river's edge and wailed loudly until she died herself of starvation. Slaughterhouse Canyon is also known as Luana's Canyon. Luana was the name of the mother. It is said that if you go to Luana's Canyon at night and are very quiet, you can hear Luana still wailing down by the river's edge. 
la la